So I know like a few months ago, I think it was you or Dolores, like this whole Gia picture came up and one of you said, you know, you're working 16 hours a day or about to work 16 hours a day because that's what you do in investment banking and yeah. you don't have time for a girlfriend. Is that still the case? Well, no, I, I ended up, I was speaking to a girl for a while, while on and off and I just like, she's got a lot going on in her life. I have a lot going on in my life and I realized we stopped talking for a while for that exact reason. Also, the, the Gia thing was not only, it's not like only just me. I mean, it was mutual. Like, it was just at the time, it, you know, we decided like, yeah, just don't think this is right right now. You know what I mean? Right. And we decided just to maintain friends, um, which was great. And I was really happy she ended up finding a great guy. Uh, but so from that standpoint, though, I was ready to go into Oppenheimer and just put my head down and work as much as I possibly could. Like, that was it. I wanted to get this job. If, if they didn't have an opening, I wanted them to prove myself so much, they put me somewhere else uh, in the same department. And I was, that's what I was planning. So I was speaking to a girl for a while, anticipating that. And then she said, um, you know, she came, came to a point where she said to me, she's like, listen, I, which I respect so much. She's like, listen, I want a relationship. I feel very strongly about you. I understand your time constraints and everything, but I want to make this official and I want a relationship. And I was like, and I told her, I'm like, listen, I just am not in the position for that. She said, that's totally fine, but I'm going to have to not talk anymore, which I, which I advise any girl. Like, if you're speaking to somebody that you really like and they are not giving, like, they're not making things official and not giving you what you deserve, sometimes you just have to remove yourself rather than give them the best of both worlds, right? Kind of. Yes, yeah, so, so, sometimes that's the case. So that's what she did, and I spent a few months thinking about it, working, working. I'm like, you know what? Like, this girl has a lot going on in her life too, and I miss her a lot. Let me reach back out. So I reached back out. We started talking again, and we ended up making an official. We ended up dating, and uh, she's a great girl. But it's not like we both have like very busy lives, and whenever we, we don't see each other often, but when we do, it's always something very special. It's a very special date. Uh, it's always and make it the best we can make it. Me by her leaving. Yeah. That was yeah. kind of the right thing to do. I, I, I think so. I definitely think so. And you're yeah. seeing her now? You see her now at times? Yeah, I'm seeing her now. Yeah, wow. But, uh, yeah, so now she actually has coronavirus right now. I hope she feels better. Love her very much, but I haven't seen her. In, so I'm at college, so I was fortunate that I didn't see her in the time period where she got it. It's not like I see her every day. And so I didn't get it, fortunately, but yeah. Does she live in New Jersey? Yeah, she lives in Hasbrook Heights. Well, putting her aside, what is your, let's pretend she doesn't exist for a minute. Like, what's your type? Yeah. My type, that's a good question. My type, I really like, um, I love like naturally beautiful women that, um, naturally beautiful women that have something planned that they want to do or working on something. Uh, a lot of career wise um just like they're, they have something planned that they're working towards outside of our relationship that's very important i think to be have a healthy relationship is someone needs to be working on something outside of that your relationship can't be your whole entire life that's it that other person is the only person that you live for like you have to live for yourself and your relationship did, should do maintenance on your life you shouldn't have to do maintenance on your relationship that makes sense. Do you have a preference, like blonde, non-blonde? It's I, honestly not really. It's like it's say, like I said, it's really just like the naturally. I, I love naturally beautiful girls, and it doesn't mean like if a girl were ever get plastic surgery, I would r rule that or anything. But that I don't talk about it like that. There's just a, it's there's a look. It's very hard to describe that. You know, my girlfriend definitely has. She's just naturally really beautiful. And you're not opposed to plastic oh. surgery. How can I not? I mean, <laughs> how can I not? You see what I live with? Yes, Dolores has had her shares of plastic surgeries, which I have yeah. nothing against that either. No, she's killing it. She looks fantastic. 